Hey Heidi Ho, it's Chris. Man, got the circuit breaker and outlet done this morning, and that was a booger. I do have to say that was a booger, but I got it done. Check this out. I used 8 gauge in here, through here, up into here. And that stuff is a bitch to work with, but I got it in. And I tried to use 8 gauge from here up to the outlet, but that's just not going to happen. There's just not enough space in this small square D box. I had to go to Lowe's and get a 20 amp breaker, single pole, and because I had this big honking thing I bought and didn't need this. I also have a 30 amp square D that I'm going to throw in here once I get the run done over to the main service panel. Um, and I got a question about how to wire this up. There's two hots. There's a, you know, the post that the, the, the black wire goes into, there's only one for this one, and then there'll be another one for this one. So how do I get 120 up to here? Do I just put a jumper wire in here? Someone, someone tell me what I need to do, because I'm not getting an answer. Or do they make something for that? Uh, Got to figure that noise out. But I want to put this 30 amp in this slot here and run run it over to the um, you know to the main service panel over here. I'm thinking about the Reliance Protan, Protran, whatever that thing is over there, and wiring up six circuits. Put it right underneath there and wire it up. Looks like it's the easiest way to go and it's also a transfer switch anyway so I'm thinking that that'll work out much better um, I moved the mate 3 down to its original location pretty happy with that and this is what's really cool I like about this outlet here check this noise out this is a USB outlet so I was just charging my phone up with it and I also got the warp core generator plugged into it right now. But man, I like that. I like that. And I used 12 gauge in there, which is rated up to 20 amps. Uh, you know, the green, black and white wire into there. So that was my work this morning with this. And I'm ready to go for getting this thing hooked up to my main service panel. Fixed, uh, this down here, put a uh, air inlet register, a couple extra holes in there, and put a screen, you know, screen right here to collect the lint because that, that blue foamy stuff was just catching way too much and restricting the airflow. And I used, of course, 100 mile tape. Those of us in the military know what this stuff is. This stuff is great. You use it for just about everything. So it's good and solid. Now let's put some foam here to help seal it up and boom right there clothes dryer exhaust lint trap box with door <laughs> pretty schwanky pretty schwanky so that's my work I did this morning and managed to uh, help out my buddy get his mower all going change the oil sharpen the blade cleaned out the air filter, uh, washed it, you know, I don't know what was what happened with the oil, that oil looked like total crap, and I, and, I, and I did it last year, so I don't know if water got into it or not, but it's working good, uh, we got some pretty nice weather here after the tornado three days ago, things are starting to green up and everybody's out putting all their storm debris, um, on the curb so they're gonna pick it up Monday but a lot of houses with tarps because they got roof damage all right just thought I'd uh, check in and tell you what's up all right take care later